in mourning. Let us all please stand. Let's take this moment as we acknowledge each other's presence and welcome one another to our celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today we celebrate Wednesday in the fifth week of our season of ordinary time. Good morning. And our opening hymn for today's Mass is number 189, Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we. To others call Long have I waited for your coming Home to me and living Deeply our new life In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. The Lord be with you Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. You came to call sinners. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth, and no grass of the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil, but a stream was welling up out of the earth, and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food with the tree of life in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden, except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. O oh, bless, oh, bless the Lord, Lord my soul. soul. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul. O oh, Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory robed in light as with a cloak. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you, 
to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters from one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are you, are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not into the heart, but the stomach, and passes out to the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly, all these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, in today's Gospel, is speaking from the perspective of Jewish ceremonial law. According to Jewish ceremonial law, the things that come from the outside, what you touch, can defile you. So if you touch a corpse of someone who's passed away, you're defiled. If you touch a leper, you become unclean. A woman who gives birth to a child is also unclean. In fact, last week, the, the Feast of the Presentation of the Lord is also given another name, uh, the purification of Mary. She was considered un unclean a rich, in a ritual sense and had to come to the temple to offer her sacrifice in order to be admitted again into the temple. Jesus is saying, these Jewish ceremonial laws, that's not what really defiles. What comes from the outside doesn't really defile. What comes from within. And here's this very... Uh, insightful list, incising list as well. Evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. These are what defile, and they come from within. Uh, looking forward to this Sunday uh, in the readings, Jesus is going to take this even further. And he's going to say, if you already harbor hatred in your heart for your brother, you've already committed murder. If you looked at someone with lust, you've already committed adultery. So as we listen to these words of Jesus, we ask him to 
gently shine his light internally in our hearts to see where these things might be and so that he can gently clean them away and make our, us from the inside clean. stand as we lift up our prayers before God. Our response, Father, purify our hearts. Father, purify our hearts. That the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That we may bring hope to despairing more through our loving actions than through our pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That our hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of all love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. That our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. The intentions of this Mass are offered for Barbara Yanchar and Gerardo and Emma Rosas. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. We pray in thanksgiving for Socorro Parales and Emmanuel Perez. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. For our sick, Lumi Palacio, Lori Inson, Steve and Luis Pepe, Linda Tesoro, and Belen Teanio. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, purify our hearts. And for our dearly departed, Jana Malabanan, Salvador and Elena Gutierrez, Juan Bautista, Soy La Rosa, Campaña, and Jose Ariel Cayeta Camo. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father purify our hearts. We now take a moment of silence as we bring to the Lord the prayers of our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father purify, purify our hearts. Our hearts. Father, we ask that you purify our hearts from the inside of any desire that may be unclean and that you make us uh, holy and righteous in your sight. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncelli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. And you stay. We told his pecata mundi. Misere no bis. And you stay. We told his pecata mundi. Misere no bis. And you stay. Tolis pecata mundi, dona nobis pace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the communion antiphon. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. The body of Christ. We now pray in union with our brothers and sisters who are joining with us online, those who are homebound, and those who cannot receive Jesus in communion today. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We turn now to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. And to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and all of your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 618, Amazing Grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but I see twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieve how precious did that grace the hour I first believe. Have a blessed day, everyone.